Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matiz Leva, and you're watching Minecraft. This is the first episode in my new map making techniques series where uh, I will be going through different techniques to improve your custom maps. Okay, and today uh, we're going to make a system similar to the one in Anisha, where you need to pick up uh, tinder boxes in order to light, uh, light up torches and progress. Okay, so let's say you're in dungeon crawler. I know it's a bit dark, so I will just brighten up the video so you will be able to see anything. Uh, so let's say we are in a dungeon dungeon and we need to move through the dungeon and we need to, uh, as a creator we need to force the player to move through the dungeon not just camp in one place but to actually move and search for new items how would we achieve that very simple on random locations we place a chest with an oil and uh, with that oil the player can light up uh, the torches or or lamps okay and after a minute or a bit less, actually, uh, the torches or lamps will burn out. They will turn off. Uh, and players should already be in a new area with a new lamp. Uh, otherwise, he or she will be in darkness. Okay, so here we have a chest. Let's open it up. And we have free oil. Now, this is a coal. Uh, but of course, if you are doing a custom map uh, most probably you will also have a custom texture pack and you can just simply modify the texture of a coil uh, so that it looks like uh, I don't know, a flask of oil or something okay of course you can also rename the item on anvil to uh, to give it a name okay so here we have a lamp and a lamp review of course again use an anvil to rename the dropper to lamp refuel it's that simple okay so uh let's put in one piece of oil and light turns on and it will stay turned on for uh, another 48 seconds until it turns off let's give us uh, another item for example uh, i don't know rotten flesh Let's say we are killing zombies and we have a lot of Rotten Flash and as a player I would think that, well, if this, this, this contraption is not made properly, uh, it would also uh, lighten up the lamp with the Rotten Flash. But uh, this is not the case with my contraption. For example, if we put in the Rotten Flash, it takes it but the light doesn't turn on. Um, if you use oil, it will accept it and the light will, the lamp will turn on. As you can saw, as you could saw, uh, I put in two pieces of oil, okay? And they will actually stack. That means that um, the lamp will stay turned on two times 48 seconds, which is um, 96, okay? 96 seconds, minute and a half. Let's see how it works. The design is truly very simple. Let's see. So, this is a dropper, lamp refuel. And uh, it gets fit, uh, I mean, uh, the items from it get sucked into this uh, hopper. We can see a rotten flash here. And all items for this hopper gets transported into this hopper. Here we have 22 pieces of oil and only oil pieces, I mean pieces of coal renamed to oil will be uh, able to be transported from this hopper into this hopper, okay? I don't know if you understand me, but if we put rotten flesh here, okay? It will not get transported there. If we had uh, more coal pieces, they will get transported, okay? And um, if we have 22 items in one hopper, the 
the redstone signal strength will be 1, okay? If we have 23 items, uh, that means another item gets into this hopper, the strength will be 2. And if the strength is 2, this repeater will get turned on and it will turn off the torch. But just for one tick. And one tick is enough to transport one item from this hopper into this hopper. So basically this is a very smart system to check if the player puts in a rotten flash or anything else or oil. Okay? So the if it is oil, the item with, will get transported into this dropper. Oh, we have one piece of oil here. Uh, the um, item will get transported here. Uh, and again, this is a competitor. So if the item is in this dropper, uh, this will turn on and gets conveyed up into this to this dropper. And in this dropper, there is there is a stack of random item. This could be a coal, it could be stone, dirt, basically anything. Diamonds, if diamonds. It doesn't matter. It needs to be stackable item. I suggest you to choose an uh, item which stacks to 64 coal, uh, I mean 64 pieces, uh, so that uh, you have a bigger buffer. And this here is just a... Uh, how it's called? Um, I don't know. A, a circuit which, which delays a input. So item gets dispensed from, he dispense from here into a cobweb and uh, it takes 48 seconds for item to fall through the cob those two cobwebs into this dropper. This dropper fits uh, item into in here. Item gets conveyed up into these droppers and then again to this dropper. Basically it's a loop, a circuit. But with a one thing. Uh, when the item gets through this dropper, the redstone signal goes from here to here and to here. And does two things. Uh, first, it turns off this competitor, uh, so that it doesn't power uh, these torches anymore. And it uh, powers this dropper, so the dropper dispenses the item into a lava. Which is, uh, hmm, I can show you, but it's... Right here, <laughs> so it basically it gets destroyed, and this is how it works. <laughs> uh, if there are two items in here, the first item will be destroyed. The output will still be on. Uh, basically, it will turn off for a tick, and when this turns off, this will again turn off, and everything will repeat. Um, so long as so long so the dropper is empty. Then it's over. <laughs> I can show you again. Oil. See? There's item in there. This turn on. Item gets dispensed, dispensed into cobweb. I'll just destroy the, this cobweb to shorten the delay. And the item gets into a hopper. See? We got a tick here. The item gets dispensed into lava. And that's it. The light, the light turns off. Of course, I put the lamp here, okay? I have a lamp refuel dropper here and uh, the light here. But of course, I can also um, move the light somewhere else. How, we do, how do we get an output? It's very simple. This torch, this, this torch um, tells us if the lamp should be turned on or off. And if we place it here, it does the same. So basically just get the redstone from here to here and you can put the lamp on the ceiling or on the floor or 10 blocks away it doesn't really matter just take the redstone power from here and wire it up and that's it thanks for watching bye